Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be working on the Type R once again. A um, couple things interior mod, exterior mod. Um, first, the interior mod. Um, as you guys own a Type R, you know that there is no spot to put your sunglasses. Um, normally, I keep them in there, that cubby underneath in here but then this i usually have in there and then my phone i usually have up on this magnet thing which i got off of amazon that i can link in the description below um basically just clips on over your um hazard clips right there magnet magnet on the back of the phone keep your phone right there you can put a tablet on it i mean it's a really strong magnet um, but anyways, back to the sunglasses. There's not a good spot for your sunglasses. It's up here. There's no one of them little drop down deals. Um, for some reason they put one of these handles on, on the driver's side. So, on Amazon I found this, which replaces that handle, and it's a sunglass holder. So, these sunglasses are a little big for it. But more or less, it holds a pair of sunglasses. Um, to get the old one off, put these back out there. To get the old one off, it's got two little pong deal or two little plastic caps. Put a screwdriver on each side, and essentially you just push it together like this. Um, they'll pop out. And then you're left with this guy here that looks like that. And basically take a pair of needle nose and grab those two metal tabs right there, squeeze them together, and this guy will pop off. And then to install that other one, you more or less just push it in and put the uh, plastic caps in there and you're good to go. So, But today we're gonna be putting on the ZL1 Rock Guards and Again, I'll put them in the description if you're interested in getting these. Um, basically, they are is a mud flap type of scenario. So this is the rear one here. The front one. Oop. So, um, the front ones, you end up popping this guy off, which is a factory deal. Um, and it's too short to go through all of it, so they supply you with a new clip, which is nice. For the rears, it uses the factory two screws. You just add washers and these little clips. Um, but I did the one side. The passenger side, I will strap you guys to my head and show you guys how to do it yourself. Um, I'm big on doing it yourself. Um, so if these videos are helping you with your type r hit a like um subscribe for more i'll be doing a lot of these um i'm a technician by trade i don't work for honda i work for toyota but i love hondas and you'll see that in my channel um but yeah without further ado we'll put the passenger side on okay first things first and i hope you guys are in view um we are going to take this here thing out um actually you know what let's take these screws out first so one screw and yes my wheel well is filthy don't take off points for that The next shop hopefully it'll be all concrete and not rock like my current one is see that out there kind of gives us a little bit of a tug um let's sit down and then uh, get behind that hit that up a little bit kind of work it This 
is probably the hardest part about the whole thing. There it goes. That sounded terrible and I hate the way that sounds. Ugh. Okay, grab the front one with the new clip. Uh, I found it easier to get the bolts in first. So you tuck this guy in there. And this little lip there will slide up on that. Poke this guy through. Find your bolt hole. bolts to and you can do all of this with the wheels on there's no need to take the wheel off to install these line up your hole there it goes go to the back side screw that guy in there for right now this guy like that perfect so you guys it's not too terrible to do this guy pop just like that now tighten up all your screws and there it is We'll do the rears. We will take, don't mind my lunch there, or dinner rather. Take these. Ah. And you have this screw here and this screw here. And I hope you guys are seeing this. I don't know how this is going. So we'll see if we do this again. All right, both screws out. Now what you wanna do is put a screw, washer, or screw, rock guard, washer, then car. I just get it going with my hands there. Do the same thing. Screw, rock guard, washer, car. like that put in these clips basically clip on here and they'll clip on here so put a clip behind the car behind the car there like that and then push on this back side so it kind of clicks do the same thing for the bottom on the back side there we go now we'll tighten up our screws and it's as easy as that really not, nothing to it just like that as you guys can see that the rock guards aren't really hard to put on um, I think they look a lot better than like the rally armor mud flaps um, and this should keep all the, uh, rocks and stuff from flying up and hit the side of my car. So super stoked on that. I don't think I have anything else coming for the type R right now, but I have some stuff in the works and I think the next thing might be tires. Um, cause I am getting down, getting down to nothing here. After that, I think I'm going to get flash pro. Um, I got the ECU for my hatch already. Uh, I'll show you guys that in the first hatch video and, uh, that'll be in the new shop. I'm waiting for the hatch stuff and the 240 stuff till we get to the new shop. Um, cause right now, or now I'm going to be cleaning up the shop of all the crap. I got a lot of crap cleaned up. But yep, 
thank you guys for sticking around to this one and uh i hope you guys like the little mods that i did um if you have any questions about any of them drop me a comment down below um if there's anything else that you think i should do to this please uh let me know down in the comments um if you're not subscribed subscribe for more type r stuff um old civic hatch stuff and 240 drift boy stuff so um that's the stuff to come and uh yep yeah. anyways you guys know know the drill thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one